In FeatureCam 2014 R2, we now have the option to output the correct cutting conditions with respect to the stock thickness or feature thickness. This is done with the ability to project the curves of the feature. This allows FeatureCam to get the correct cutting conditions even when the curves obtained by feature recognition are not at the real feature heights. In this particular example you can see we've got an extrusion die. What we want to do is we want to machine this green coloured core area. If I go over to the part view you'll also notice a couple of pre-created items. You can see we've got a pre-created two axis side. We've also got a stock solid and the wire EDM extrusion die in our list of solid models. We can show the stock solid just by turning on the layer and just hiding our model. Here we can see what the current state of the stock looks like before we do any wire operations. We can also hide the curve and also hide the feature just to show the stock. So let's turn off this level. I'm going to reshow my part. And as I said, I'm interested in these green faces in this central core area. So I'm going to select any one of the green faces. I'm going to go Edit, Select by Color or Type, and identify all of those green faces like so. I can now go ahead and create a feature. So I'm going to head into my new feature wizard. I'm going to select a four axis die, Extract with Feature Recognition. Choose Next. Accept the default for feature recognition and identify the faces. Let's choose next again. And you'll notice this form is now slightly different, so the dimensions form has changed from what it was before. Now previous functionality can be replicated by unchecking the new project curves option. In this case you can see I've been given a thickness of 5mm. If I preview this you can see traditionally FeatureCam would have created our section somewhere in the middle of the part. The problem is now, if I extend the thickness, for example if I make it 10 millimeters and preview, the curves are not lying in the correct position. So this is not really giving me a true representation of what the part looks like. I could go ahead and say finish. That's created my feature, but at the moment the feature is shifted. But I now have a problem that if I try and shift the location of the feature, for example if I move it back to zero and say apply, this is now moved where my curve location is and is no log longer representation of what we have actually want to machine. So to get around this we have a new project curves option and this works in conjunction with our cutting conditions. Let's go ahead and delete our feature and I'm going to select both my curves and delete those as well. I'm going to change my stock material. So let's go into our stock properties and select condition. Under the condition I'm going to change the material type, so I'm going to cut from a steel component. I'm going to use a generic wire and set the wire diameter to be 0.2 millimeters. Under the machine I'm going to select, I want to use a, a SODIC machine, and in this case I'm going to use an MK21. If we go to the cutting data area, you'll now notice that we have cutting data populated for this particular machine type. And in this case I've got different feature depths, so for example 10 millimeters. In this case I'm going to do three passes. You can see we've got cutting data already populated. Note you can see the feeds, for example 410, 611 and 641. If I change the feature thickness you can see we get an update in the feed values. So I'm just going to accept the changes to my cutting conditions and again reselect these faces using my select by color or type go back through the wizard. So here you can see again go in the default options, default selection, this time I'm using the project curves. And you'll note you can see here that I now have an upper and lower value already set, in this case set at 0 and set at Z. If I just say finish and accept the defaults, in this case I've already set my attributes to do a contour type strategy if we go to the skin pass options I'm doing three contour passes. If we go over to our cutting data you can see it's loaded at 410 value which is associated with our 10 millimeter cut depth. If I wish to cut deeper than that 
I can go to dim my dimensions and I can move the lower Z position, for example, to the bottom of the side. This gives me a total cut depth of 20 millimeters. The thickness value is not included in this, but you'll note because I've updated the projected curves values, you can see the feed rate has been automatically updated for me. So this is a much greater improvement in the workflow and we get a much uh, more robust selection of our cutting data when doing wire EDM processes. I can now return back to my lower Z position again. Each time it's projecting the curve and giving me my accurate shape. I can accept that for the time being. And in this case I'm going to run a quick 3D simulation and then remove the two segments like so.